So today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite highlighters that are affordable and I wanted to do affordable ones because it's always nice to get a good deal for your highlighter and I don't think, especially in this day and age, there are so many affordable highlighters so I don't think that people necessarily need to go and spend that extra money. Obviously there are some really great high-end highlighters but um, lately brands have just proven that there are highlighters that are just as good for a way better price. And I'm talking like $10 or under, not just like affordable in general. So these are just drugstore highlighters. So this is nothing that you're going to find at Sephora unless I guess ColourPop is sold at Sephora now. But there's just a lot that you would never think that these brands would come through like this and bring such high quality looking highlighters. So I'm just going to share with you some of my personal favorites. I haven't tried everything obviously, but I have tried quite a bit and these are my personal favorites. So I'm going to start out with probably one of my absolute favorites ever and how I'm going to do this is I'm going to insert videos um, of swatches of them but I want to get a little bit better lighting because sometimes when I swatch with this like bright light on me it will show up, it won't show up, I mean it won't show up at all and so I want to get a different shot of these and insert them in there too so that's what I'm going to do there. So I'll start out with probably my favorite overall which are the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighters. And I was only sort of like brought onto these by other people on YouTube. And so this wasn't like a personal like discovery or anything. I started out by trying color 100 called Molten Gold. And I've used this on my channel multiple times already. But um, it's a super metallic, just straight up gold. It's sort of like yellowy gold, but it doesn't translate on the skin as like too yellowy. It doesn't leave a weird streak on your face or anything like that. And the other color that I just got like a couple of days ago that um, I was brought on to sort of by Tati on YouTube because she said um, that this color, which is the, it's called Molten Rose Gold. She was super obsessed with this color. So I really wanted to try it and it's really, really awesome. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to, like I said, insert swatches but with my absolute favorite highlights. I'm going to do one highlight on one cheek, one on the other cheek, and one on my nose, and one on my cupid's bow, just to kind of like give you guys an idea of what they look like on the face instead of just swatched on an arm. So there will be swatches of these right now, and this one I use more often than this one because I just got this one, but I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a lot more. Um, you do need to be careful to not use too much because it can kind of turn a little bit pinky on the skin, but other than that, there's a lot of gold in there as well, like it is rose gold and it's not just straight up rosy, like pink, like blush, although you could put a little bit of this on top of your blush as well and use it as a blush topper. I think that's one of the reasons that they made it, but you look at this color and think that it wouldn't be wearable, but it is very wearable, so this is one of the colors that I'm going to put on my face. The next highlights I'm going to be talking about are the Milani instant glow powders and they are the strobe light I don't know if that's like a range of highlight that they have but they're pretty new they're fairly new I guess and the first shade that I tried was afterglow yeah was afterglow and it's called zero one so this is the lightest shade that they have and here's what it looks like and I'll insert swatches as well but with these I was like well, the way that they look in the pan, they didn't look like they would be like the best highlight ever. But the thing about these is how smooth they are, especially for a drugstore highlight. Usually the ones that you'll find from the drugstore can be chunky and glittery and I'm not like about having a highlight that has glitter or chunks in it whatsoever. I want to look super smooth and I want to like look like it melts into my skin. And um, with this one, this is one of the smoothest highlighters that I have and this is only like $8 I believe from like Walmart or Target or Walgreens or anything like that. So this one is super beautiful. And then when I went and got some new drugstore highlighters the other day, I also got this color, which is 03 called Sun Glow. And it's obviously way more gold than the first color. And it looks like this. Again, there will be swatches there. And there were other colors there that were sold out too. So I'm assuming that the entire range is um, super pretty, just like the colors that I've tried. But what I liked about it is there was a wide range of colors from light to dark so it can be used on all skin tones. One of the most important things in beauty and cosmetics for me is to be inclusive to everybody, no matter what the skin tone, what 
the gender or anything like that. But I think it's awesome that they made a big range of colors. The next highlighters that I'll be talking about are the ColourPop highlighters. And these are, I mean, they've been around for a while, a few years now. But they do keep coming out with new shades. New shades that I want to try but I don't have yet that I will recommend to you as well. I'll insert swatches of these as well. And these are actually, they're not liquid highlighters. But they are cream highlighters. And so you kind of either take a brush and swirl it around in there. Or you can just use your finger and... Um, swirl it around in there and just kind of tap it on your face. Uh, what I like about these is that these are great to use if you want to use them as a base for a powder highlight because they'll make it look like you're literally glowing. Like they're so intense. I know that there's one called Flexitarian that is like their most highlighty shade and a lot of people are really obsessed with that one. The ones that I have are Wisp which is just like a pretty standard gold shade and then I have one that is um, a pink shift it has a pink shift, so this one's called Monster, and it's just a white highlight, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you will be able to tell by the swatches that I insert that it has a pink shift. So speaking of a pink shift, I also have this highlighter from Ulta, and it's just called the Duochrome Illuminator, and it says it has a sheer holographic finish. It's not holographic. It's just duochrome, but um, holographic would be if it were to reflect an entire rainbow as you look around at it, but anyways. This one just has another duochrome shift, and it's the exact same thing as the ColourPop one. So if you really wanted to um, shift pink, you could use this and then set it with this, but they're both really great. And I think that for the price that this Ulta highlighter is, I feel like their other ones would be really good quality as well for what they are too. The next one that I'll be talking about is one that I've had for a really 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 long time like longer than I've even been obsessed with makeup for. It was a gift to me by I can't even remember who for Christmas or something or for my birthday a long time ago. I didn't really know what it was because I wasn't into makeup yet but this is the Physicians Formula. Um, it's kind of like a dupe sort of for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks which they look like this and they have a range of highlight shades so you can either use the lightest one, use the darkest one, use the mid-tone or you can swirl it all together to make your own highlight shade out of all these shades basically. Um, that is kind of the deal that this is too and it sort of got a little bit destroyed from when I made my own highlighter in my last one of my last videos but it has a range of colors so you can sort of like choose pick and choose which one you want but it's actually got a really nice texture. It's really soft, and I know that the packaging is probably different now, but I know for sure that they still have these shimmer bricks sort of things, even though that's called Warm Nude. Um, it's probably in different packaging by now, like I said. But this is, like, really awesome. You can This bright shade here in the corner is really good for inner corner highlights. Um, the more gold shades right here and kind of over here are what I would use like on my cheekbones and I probably will like stray away from these just because they wouldn't match my skin tone but like I said a wide range of skin tones could use this for different things so even like medium to deep skin tones could use this because they could use this on their eyelid they could use it for an inner corner highlight a brow bone highlight they could swirl them all together and make their own like I said so there's a lot of things that you can do with this and it's really reasonably priced Again, you can find it at Walmart or Target or anywhere like that. And then one of the final highlights I'll be talking about is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And I've heard these talked about a lot lately because Wet n Wild is like super stepping up its game. Um, it's like making really good foundations, really good eyeshadows, really good highlighters, really good lips, like liquid lipsticks. So anyways, this one is... A new shade apparently I'm not really sure this one's called blossom glow and it's sort of like the rose gold color um, from the Maybelline highlighter collection but this one is just a little bit more sheer so you could build this up a little bit more but it also is cheaper a little bit cheaper than the Maybelline one so it's kind of like a pick-and-choose sort of situation this one has beautiful luminescence like when you I'll show you like in the swatches that you'll see here um, it just has this glow to it that is like crazy for the price. So anyways, I will start now putting these on my face so that you can see them. And I'm also going to take a separate video and go into a little bit different lighting to show you what they look like in a little bit darker lighting because like I said, these beauty lights are super bright so it's good for filming videos but as far as like seeing detail, like seeing the details of my highlight I guess or seeing what they look like in low light or anything like that will be better if I... Uh, choose different lighting for that section of this video and I'm just going to show a short clip of what they look like at the end same with all the swatches so here we go I'm going to go I'm going to go in with this 
Maybelline Master Chrome in the rose gold shade on one cheek. And then on the other cheek, I'm going to go in with this Milani um, Sun Glow one. So I'm going to use all the most recent ones that I got just to try them out. And then I'll try this Wet n Wild one down the uh, bridge of my nose. And just for fun on my Cupid's bow, I'll just show you the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick. And I'll also like put a little bit on my inner corners. Even though I already have an inner corner highlight, I'll just show you what it would look like if you were to use it as an inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to use my Morphe M510 highlighting brush. And I'm not going to put a liquid highlighter down like I usually do. I usually use the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and I put that down first just to like make it really really glow but I just want to show what these products look like on their own since everybody doesn't typically use exactly what I use so I'm just going to go in on this cheek with the Maybelline one, Milani over here, Wet n Wild down the center of my nose and then Cupid's bow and inner corners with the Physicians Formula one so here we go. Okay so I am actually going to wet my highlighting brush just a little bit because since there is nothing for it to adhere to on my face I just want to make sure it will actually really show up. So I'm just going to slightly wet my brush with a little bit of product and then I will go right on top of my cheekbones. So I hope that you guys got something out of this and can go find a super affordable highlight that you enjoy for your skin tone now. Um, thanks for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.